If I started my entrepreneurial journey today, I would be a lot more focused. And I, I would be doing it myself as opposed to trying to recruit partners to make up what were my perceived shortcomings. So I, I think you know, two, two big mistakes I made in the beginning was I tried to do too many things. Right? I was a jack of all trades and frankly a master of none, at least for the first few years. Um, but once we got precisely focused on the value we wanted to bring to the world that was aligned with my mission, um, you know, and, and we unfortunately, you know, I did make some mistakes about bringing on partners that just weren't a good fit. Not that they weren't great people and talented in their own right, but they just weren't a great fit for the kind of business I really wanted to build in my heart. And, and all of that was fear. It was fear-based. It was fear of failure. And so once we got focused uh, and once we got the right team and resources around us, the business took off in a great, great direction. So, um, you know, looking back on it, I know that now, but, but it's also important, I think, to mention, you know, at the time I didn't know it. And those mistakes weren't fatal. Those failures weren't final. Um, so what you have to do is look at those valuable lessons learned for the entrepreneurial journey. And I think any entrepreneur wants, watching this, especially a new entrepreneur, has to be patient. You're going to make mistakes. There's no perfect time to do anything. Um, a mentor of mine gave me a great piece of advice uh, a few days ago. He said, if you want a really big oak tree in your backyard, the best time to plant it was 40 years ago. <laughs> The second best time to plant it is today. And, and so don't overthink any of this stuff. Start now, success is iterative. You're gonna make a bunch of mistakes, but you're gonna learn as you grow, be patient. And if you're really focused and work your ass off, success will be yours.